Hola everybody, it's Explore Vegas and today we are at Los Cucos Mexican Cafe in Las Vegas. Los Cucos Mexican Cafe was originally founded in Houston, Texas, but has grown across the United States including two locations in Las Vegas. Today we are reviewing the Arroyo Crossing location which is approximately 15 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip. Normally a go-to spot for sizzling fajitas and mouth-watering margaritas, the Los Cucos location on Arroyo Crossing has a special Sunday morning tradition. Every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. they run a special brunch buffet with all of your favorite authentic Mexican dishes and bottomless margaritas. The price tag for this luxury is $29.99 per person or $16.99 for kids aged 3 to 9. The question on everybody's mind is whether or not it is worth it. You'll just have to keep watching to find out. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let us show you all the dishes in this beautiful buffet. One of my favorite parts about going to the buffet is getting a discount for the buffet. That makes me want to talk about one of my favorite games, which also happens to be the amazing sponsor of this video, My Konami. Sometimes you just want to have a little casino fun or a quick win. My Konami Slots lets you play Las Vegas slot games like Lion Festival, Lotus Land, China Shores, and many more. Let's take a look at the games. This is the ultimate Las Vegas experience with so many fun and engaging free-to-play slot games. Look out for the famous All Aboard feature that allows you to win big. Their exceptional loyalty program allows you to collect loyalty points and redeem them for genuine rewards such as complimentary hotel rooms, discounted meals, some of those being buffets, show tickets and even free slot play at various MGM Resorts properties and numerous partners globally. What are you waiting for? Play for free now and get 2 million free chips as a welcome bonus plus a 10 million free chip special bonus exclusively from clicking on my link in the description below or scanning the QR code on the screen. It's just that easy. Click on the link in the description below or scan the QR code on the screen to go to the landing page and I'll see you in the game. Let's take a look at some of the salads. First up, here's a salad with broccoli, ensalada de pasta, here's ceviche rojo, agua chile, nopales, and Caesar salad. Some crackers or chips to go with your salad. Let's take a look at the taco station. Here are some chicken wings. Here are some tamales. The crispy shells for the tacos. You got your lettuce, cheese, and tomatoes. And of course the ground beef for the tacos. Another look at the taco shells and the lettuce, cheese, and tomatoes. Take a look at this chili relleno. So beautiful looking. Here are some cheese enchiladas with green salsa. Just look at how beautiful these pork carnitas are. Can't wait to taste them. This is taco de papa. Here are sopes, some tortas de papa, frijoles refritos, some Spanish rice. Here is carne a la mexicana, some limes, moles, costillas and salsa roja. Here are chicharrones and green salsa. Some chili peppers. Another look at the glorious meats. They also have another beautiful taco section. They have some of your favorites like chicken, pork, and al pastor. Of of course they have all the sauces and all of the necessary toppings. 
In addition to the tacos in this section, they are making empanadas as well. Caution, they are hot. And you know why? Because they are made fresh. Everything is made fresh here. Check this out, she is doing a phenomenal job. Now let's check out the soups. Here's pozole. Some more pozole. And here we have a menudo. They are so good about putting extra limes and toppings down for you to enjoy. Here are lonche de pierna. Some sandwiches. Mojadas. Some fried fish. Some salsa and chicharrones. Here are some pancakes and maple syrup. Some butter as well. Here is the made to order omelet and breakfast station. Some hash browns and corned beef hash. The made to order omelet section with cheese, green peppers and onions, ham, red onions, jalapenos. Also looks like they have some bacon and mushrooms and tomatoes. Here we have some bacon. And here's sausage and ham. Here's your mild, medium, and hot sauce. They also make fresh chilaquiles at this station. That's why the sauces are there. And they have the cheese and the sour cream as well. Now let's look at the agua fresca and fruit station. Here is the fresh fruit and yogurt parfait station. I see fresh strawberries, cantaloupe, watermelon, papaya, and pineapples, along with all the nuts and yogurt. Now let's look at some of the agua frescas. They have pepino. There's Jamaica. Sandia. And piña. Now let's take a look at the desserts. A lot of these are snack cakes or like packaged coffee cakes, but there is a reason for it. They didn't just put a bunch of Twinkies and Yodels down, I promise you. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is, the chocolate fountain. That's why they're out there. Can you imagine a chocolate dipped Twinkie or some chocolate dipped fruit? Yes, that's real. More snap cakes for the chocolate. Some assorted donuts. Cinnamon rolls, chocolate cake, red velvet. There's a chocolate chip cake. Ooh, the cheesecake. That's chocolate cheesecake. I'm sure Junior Explore Vegas will take advantage of those cereals. Here they have some assorted jellos. That one looks like it might be mango. Here is the flan. Oh boy, that looks delicious. They also have milk and orange juice and arroz con leche. That's rice with milk. Here's an assorted bread section. Sorry, I gotta say it. Don't eat the bread. There are so many good foods to fill up on here. I absolutely love the decor. Actually, this entire restaurant is absolutely beautiful. Check this out, they got a nice little coffee bar here. Here is Café de la Ola. This one's a chocolate milk with some cinnamon added to it. And here is Champorado. They actually have a Tejuino section. 
Tejuino is a cold fermented beverage made from corn. It has a very low alcohol content in there, so watch out giving it to the kids. They really didn't leave anything out. They went all out for this buffet. All right, let's go see what there is to eat. Nice salad. Look at that ceviche. Wow, everything looks so fresh. Wow. That looks tender. Of course, a taco. Gotta have a sopa. Sopa. All right, getting into the first plate. I'm not gonna waste any time. I cannot wait. All the food looks so delicious. I am going to get into this cheese enchilada. It has a little green sauce on it. Oh. Mm. The cheese is not overbearing. And honestly, the sauce is not overbearing either. It's um, it's just the right amount so that it gives you that flavor. Mm. And it's not too spicy. Because I like food, but I don't like it super, super spicy. This is a pork carnita. Get into the pork carnita, wow. Take a look inside of that. Wow. That looks moist. Mm. Mm, so tender. You know, I know it's fresh. Not just because they just opened, but man, that looked moist on the inside. Wow, so delicious. This one here is some, it says Mexican meat. I'm gonna give it a shot. And that looks really, really juicy as well. Let's try it. Mmm, fairly easy to chew. And that is fresh and moist. Man, they did it right here today. Let's get into one of these little rolled tacos. Got to try it. Mm. It's more like a it tastes more like potato, believe it or not. Maybe it's like a breakfast taco. It's more of a breakfast taco, I think. This one is the sopas. Look at that. With the cheese on the top there. Whoa. I'm just gonna bite right into this thing. It's gonna be messy. It's okay. Mmm. That's like biting into a burst of flavor. Oh my goodness, there's so many different tastes in here and that cheese complements it so nicely. Mmm. And that crunchy outer shell, wow. This is dynamite right here, so good. Wow. I have pastor chicken asada and Let me have pastor chicken. Pastor chicken. How's your day today? Very good. How about you? Good. Good. Oh, very nice. Thank you. The sauce is spicy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank We're you. Mild, oh, okay, that's good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, the pozole and the menudo. Oh, look at these sandwiches. You know, I'm not a huge bread fan of the flavor, man. These sandwiches look good. I gotta try one. There we go. I got it. Looks good, right, amigo? It looks really good. Oh. I cannot wait. There we go. <laughs> look at it. Yeah. All right, second plate, I have gotten some fresh tacos. This one is Al Pastor. Ooh. That looks like it's going to be tasty. I can't wait. Mmm. I always like Al Pastor. That is heavenly. Let's get into some of the chicken. Nice and fresh. Marinated very nicely. 
There are two different kinds of sandwiches here. I know what you're going to tell me. Don't eat the bread because you know I'm going to say it. Don't eat the bread. But I am going to try the sandwich. Come on, it's loaded with meat. So you got to try it. You got to try it. Hack with yeah. me. Yeah. Tasty. It's not spicy. So I'm a big fan. Look at this one. This one's like overflowing here. There's a lot going on in there. It is moist though. Oh wow, that's just falling apart. You know what? It's not a Cuban sandwich, but it kind of has a little bit of taste like that. And I love Cuban sandwiches. I get some fish and corn, Spanish rice. My favorite chicharron. It's so crunchy. I mm. can see. Got some sauce there for it too. Yeah, huh? the salsa sauce. Salsa. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh no! Who's you trying to it. take it over there? Explorer Junior stole I know. it. He loves chicharron. Next. I'm gonna have some fish. Mm. Wow, you are daring. Show everybody this fish. They give me half of the fish. Oh. oh, oh. All right, you're adventurous. Go Fried for fish. it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, you're happy. So yeah. nice. That means it's good. What kind of fish is it? Tilapia. Tilapia, okay. Yeah. Actually, I have some Spanish rice here. Mmm, <laughs> good. And ta-da! the Mexican street corn. I'm gonna eat it. Cannot wait. Mmm. Yeah, good. what does it taste like? What's on there? Sour, sweet. Sweet and have, sour, huh? Yeah, I have some butter on it. Butter on there? Okay. I thought it's spicy, but it's not. That's not good. spicy. Mm. Oh, I might be able to try it too. All right, let's go get an omelet. Let's see. Specific omelet that you would like, sir? An omelet, maybe some tomato, mushroom, ham, and cheese. Cheese. No onions or anything? Uh, no onion, I think. Sir. Sure. Thank you. Sounds good. You mentioned something like you can make chili rellenos. No, chili rellenos no. Chilaquiles, yeah. Chilaquiles? Chilaquiles. Can you make one of those? Yes, sir. Did you want to do red sauce or green sauce or any specific? Green sauce. Oh, yeah. So, what we do is just add the salsa. And just saute this too. And then, uh, do you want any any sour cream? Sour cream? Which is yeah, like this. Yeah. Beautiful. Cheese. If you want a little bit extra, you want a little more than that, or you? Oh, that's perfect. All right. And then we do have everything else if you like: bacon, ham, sausage. Oh, perfect. Probably not take too much of that because there's some good food out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, like I said, for the most part, the the one on the uh, oh, here, let me give you to carry you there. Whoa. Some chilaquiles. They just made it. I know. Made to order. Mm, good. Where else can you get made to order omelets and chilaquiles? I know. Alright, I am gonna get some chocolate dipped treats. Mm. Oh, look at that. Mm. So good. Let's get a pineapple. Covered in chocolate. Oh. 
Do I get daring and try one of these? So good. Hold on, they got more here. Ah. Look, there's Twinkie. Has it ever been your dream to dip a Twinkie in <laughs> chocolate? Well, let me tell you, dreams do come true. <laughs> Look at that. My goodness. That is impressive. I can't wait to go try this out. Everything has been absolutely phenomenal, but I'm looking down here because they have a chocolate fountain and you get some fruit, you got some like Twinkies. It's kind of always been a dream to dip a Twinkie in chocolate. Oh man, that's a nice way to end the meal, let me tell you. Everything tastes better with chocolate on it. Some final thoughts on Los Cucos' Sunday Brunch Buffet. I have to be honest here, I am blown away. I saw some pictures of this buffet before I came here, and it didn't really look that big. The reality is they have way more than the pictures even showed. Everything was made fresh. They were extremely creative with their live cooking stations. For example, the omelet station also makes chilaquiles. The taco station also has fresh empanadas. The pork carnitas, cheese enchiladas, and carne a la mexicana were very tasty. The al pastor tacos were pretty amazing as well. I've always wanted to have a Twinkie dipped in chocolate, but can you believe it? I've never done so. That is, before today. The flan was out of this world good. That's something you won't get at any other buffet, or you'll never get one that good. The only thing that was disappointing to me was how full I was. I wish I could have eaten way more than I did. If you're looking for some authentic Mexican food, and you are a buffet fan, you are in luck because this is the buffet for you. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Also hit that notification bell, because the more you do that, the more YouTube will show our videos to new viewers. And remember, it's always a good day to explore Vegas.